over the course of the last year, I had been working with a, a friend of mine whose father is battling with colon cancer, and she asked me for nutritional advice, and you know, gladly I gave her advice, and obviously not medical advice, nutritional advice. Um, and the very first thing I recommended was for him to remove all animal products from his diet. I, I was very direct and clear, and I said he could never eat animal products again if he you know, hopes for his condition to improve. And he removed all animal products. I had him drinking a lot of chlorophyll-rich green juices, uh, smoothie blends, um, and you know, during this time he, he started doing much better. His condition began to improve, his energy levels rose, and his CEA levels were back to normal, um, and he, he was doing much better. I had him, you know, drinking a combination of four smoothies from the book Smoothie Formulas by Jeff Premack, which is a very valuable resource, has a lot of different uh, smoothie blends for different chronic degenerative conditions and diseases, and, you know, so, you know, I had him drinking those, uh, you know, he was doing very well, and his family began to get concerned about his weight loss, which naturally anyone who is sick is going to lose weight. And also when you remove animal products from your diet, you naturally lose weight. And it was a healthy weight loss, but um, they actually encouraged him to begin eating fish again. I don't know who, who was responsible for that, but he began to eat fish and within about a month he was back in the hospital his cancer had come back and his tumor had grown and um, that triggered me to record this video because I think it's important that we all become more aware of how dangerous eating fish really is not only for our health but you know for the environment and I think it what we need to realize first and foremost is that all of this these mistruths that we've been believing about fish being essential for a healthy diet and, and that we need it for the lean protein and for the healthy oils and to save off dementia and prevent cognitive decline all of that is is just what the fishing industry wants us to believe and this is a multi-billion dollar industry and you know, if we all knew how bad fish was, it, it, the fishing industry would collapse and, you know, this would damage their profits. So what they've done is they've, you know, infiltrated these public school systems and, and these nutritional education programs and, and filled it with lies and, and made us believe that we need fish in our diet or, or that, it, you know, eating fish is healthy. And... First, I'd like to, you know, kind of debunk the, the whole myth about omega-3s. Uh, omega-3s are, are very important in our diet for, for brain function, for increasing our levels of, of DHA and EPA. But what we need to realize is that the best way to, to nourish ourselves with these omega-3s is with alpha-linoleic acids, ALAs, and these are found most abundantly in... in raw plant oils which are you know in raw flax seeds raw pumpkin seeds raw walnuts raw fruits and raw vegetables and by eating these raw plant-based foods we will get more than enough of these alpha linoleic acids which you know increase our levels of, of dha and epa our essential omega-3s and this is what will stave off dementia and, and prevent cognitive decline, not eating fish. And, you know, to prove this, there was a study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, which was published in 2010, where researchers followed subjects eating fish-heavy diets and, you know, fish oils uh, being supplemented into their diets. And, and what they found over the course of 10 years is this did not lower the dementia risk at all. Those eating fish and fish oils were, you know, 
developing dementia just as much as those removing and abstaining from fish. And so, you know, this kind of debunks the whole claim that fish is needed and fish oils are healthy. The other thing that people suggest fish oil for is to reduce inflammation. You know, I see a lot of personal trainers who know nothing about nutrition or optimal nutrition recommending clients to, to take fish oil supplements to reduce inflammation. Um, but really, when you, when you cook fish, these oils in the fish become degraded and rancid and, and equivalent to trans fats, which lead to inflammation. Um, so, again, debunking the whole myth about the healthy oils in fish. Um, fish oils do not contain essential amounts of, of healthy oils, and especially cooked fish is harmful. Another thing I'd like to cover is, you know, my belief for why my friend's father's cancer came back so aggressive, and and I think that's the cooked meat carcinogens that are found in in cooked fish, and these include heterocyclic amines. They include polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, and one of the most harmful heterocyclic amines um, out there present in you know, cooked meats is known as FIP, P-H-I-P. And what this does is it, it causes DNA mutation, which triggers tumor formation and increases the invasiveness of, of tumors. And so eating fish is ultimately, you know, in, in my opinion, what may have triggered this cancer to come back. You know, another thing is, is the pollutants in fish. What about the dioxins, the PCBs, you know, the, the pharmaceutical drugs that have, have leaked into our water supply? And what about the mercury? All of these things trigger cancer formation. And so, you know, fish not only doesn't provide us with these healthy oils, we, we believe that it does, but it also is full of contaminants which as a result contaminates our bodies our blood you know our bloodstream and, and it pollutes our you know our terrain <laughs> and you know another thing I'd, I'd like to cover is what about the belief that fish may help us lose weight well there was a study published in February of, of 2009 in the Molecular and, and Cellular Endocrinology Journal suggesting chemical, chemical pollutants in, in the water supply known as obesogens. Um, these chemical obesogens are found most abundantly in fish and what they do is, you know, we have preadipocytes, we have adipocytes in our body, and these are pre-fat cells and fat cells. And what these do is, is they stimulate these preadipocytes, the, these pre-fat cells, to form into adipocytes, fat cells. And when we have more of these fat cells, we tend to store more, more energy as fat. And, and this could be a major contributor to obesity. Um, a lot of people overlook this um, because... You know, they read a, a fitness magazine telling them eating fish will help them, you know, gain lean muscle or, or they go to a nutrition school and, you know, these these educators that really are not educating, they're misleading and they're, they're filling our minds with mistruths are, are teaching erroneous beliefs in school and in, in education systems still to this day even though there are several resources out there that, that reveal the truth about fish. And, you know, I think the key to optimal health is eating as low on the food chain as possible. And when we're eating other animals and we're eating fish and, and any kind of living creatures, we're eating high on the food chain. And, you know, eating low on the food chain would be eating edible plant matter. So, you know, if you want to eat and you want to obtain the nutrients that we think we're getting from fish, why why get them after going through the filter of the fish's body and the fish's body systems? Why not eat direct sea plants, sea vegetables like dulse and nori and, and kelp and spirulina and AFA blue-green algae, even chlorella? I mean, we can 
get all of these nutrients from eating those foods, mixing them in our smoothies, you know, sprinkling them on our, our raw foods. And uh, another another subject I'd, I'd like to touch base on is what about the, the environmental tragedy taking place today? You know, uh, if you if you watch Philip Wolin in his his uh, amazing speech, one of the best speeches I've ever heard, where he's at the St. James Ethics debate and he's debating with the the meat manufacturers and the meat industry, and his his argument is we need to remove animal products from the menu, and you know he he mentions a very important fact that. All, all of our sea life is expected to collapse entirely by the year 2050. And, and this was a conclusion drawn from a four-year study conducted by an international group of ecologists and economists. And it was, you know, the results were released in August of 2012. And they found that, you know, all of the world's seafood and stocks of seafood will completely be wiped out by the year 2048 to 2050 you know and looking at 2050 that's 37 years from now and in 37 years I want to be living on a healthy planet you know I want my children you know maybe my grandchildren to be thriving and, and not having to be around you know the the atrocities of, of factory farming and, and never having to even be aware that people once ate animals and and considered life as you know something we need to end and, and you know slaughter and, and cook and, and devour and you know I want a healthy planet, and, and this is sadly not possible if we continue going, you know, down this cycle we're going down today. And what is the reason for for why, you know, all of the sea life is expected to collapse? Well, it's because of the factory farming and, and the animal agriculture industry. You know, over sixty percent of the fish that that are fished from the sea are ground up and force fed to you know what should be vegetarian cows and and pigs and you know sea shepherd has you know basically claimed today that the pig has become the largest ocean predator because we're fattening these these poor little intelligent pigs who who are smarter than all other animals in the animal kingdom arguably and even could be smarter than humans in a sense um you know for the production of pork and all these deleterious food products that are, are damaging our health and you know what we're doing is we're we're going down a downward spiral because we're being lied to um, by the meat industry the dairy industry the egg industry the fishing industry and you know those lies have have gone so far and spread so far that that's what we're taught in school our education relies solely on lies and mistruths and so, you know, with this video, I'm hoping to, you know, make people more aware of how dangerous fish really is in all meat, in all animal products is, you know, and are for our health. And I think that um, we can really, really make progress by beginning to read reliable sources such as any of Vandana Shiva's books. Um, she has a new book out, Making Peace with the Earth. Uh, Dr. Richard, Richard Oppenlander is comfortably unaware. Any of John McCabe's books, uh, Sun Fu Died in Fusion. And this book right here, Extinction, The Death of Water Life on Planet Earth by John McCabe. Um, another extraordinary book. Uh, will really open your eyes to what's going on out there and and you know will make you aware of, of what's going on with our sea life and how it's affecting all of us and our planet and when all the sea life dies all of life on earth will eventually die and you know the phytoplankton will be wiped out and the phytoplankton are what provide oxygen on earth it isn't so much the trees as we think it's probably around 90% of the oxygen on land c comes from the phytoplankton in the sea. And, 
you know, with the death of sea life, we won't have oxygen, and plant life will we'll soon die. And you know, I like my plants, and and I appreciate nature, and you know, and I appreciate life, and I think all of us should start to appreciate that as well. So, you know, rather than getting angry and defiant and hostile, and you know, oh, claiming that's not true, you know, dig deep, research. There are medical studies out there proving how harmful meat is. Um, you know, there's so much out there. There's, you know, even the book I have written titled The Raw Cure, Healing Beyond Medicine. Um, I really get get into all of this and I touch base on all of these subjects. And, you know, I, I put a lot of research, a lot of time into that book and energy. And, you know, I encourage all of you to pick up a copy and read it and, you know, keep an open mind because I'm not, you know, spreading mistruths. I'm not... Uh, contributing to industry profits with my book. I'm just trying to help people reach an optimal level of health, and that is the premise of my message. And I hope all of you see that, you know, what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm releasing the truth, and I don't want to see anyone else you know, suck them to, to cancers and, and tumors and, you know, harmful and, and painful diseases and conditions because it's all of it is unnecessary and we can wipe out and, and, and drastically reduce the amount of sickness there is today by you know, converting to veganism and re removing animal products from our diet and that is my message for you today adios